Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia and today I'm going to show you guys how I use my Revlon blow drying brush to blow dry this line's mane in about 10 minutes. This tool right here has already saved me so much time and money. First of all, it cuts my drying time in about half and it gives me a salon blowout at home. If you guys are new here or you want to show some support, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It would really help my channel grow. All right guys, so if you're interested to see how I get this to that in 10 minutes, just keep watching. So as you can see, I recently washed my hair and let me just show you what my natural hair is like. So it's wavy and curly. As soon as it touches water, it starts to crimp, it starts to curl, and once it's fully dry, it's so frizzy. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my natural hair, but sometimes it's easier just to have it a little straighter just so it can get out of my face and not be so messy. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, so first things first, I let my hair air dry a bit. I personally don't like blow drying my hair when it's really wet. I just feel like I'm applying so much more heat to it than I need to, so I would recommend that if you can, let your hair air dry just a little bit. Okay, so because naturally I have frizzier and dry hair I like to apply some argan oil throughout my hair this helps it be a lot less frizzy and just so much softer so usually I use more pure argan oil this is the only one I had it's this argan oil by OGX it does have some other ingredients but it still does the job and I can't go without it so what I like to do is I just spray a couple of pumps in my hand I rub it together and then I just apply it to the bottom of my hair Okay, so this is another step that I should do, but I don't always do, and it's applying heat protectant spray. So I have the Chi 44 Iron Guard spray. I should really do this more often. This one is really good, but any heat protectant spray will do. So what I like to do is I just spray it through my hair. You are supposed to section off your hair, but I don't do that. All right, that's done. And the last thing I like to do before I blow dry my hair is just to section off this top piece of my hair. I feel like when it stays down, the bottom pieces can't dry properly. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it up. Okay, so now that I have this sectioned off, I'm actually gonna time myself and see how long it's really gonna take me to blow dry my hair. So let's press start. Okay, so three minutes in, I've already blow dried half my hair. I'm gonna do the other half, and then in the end, I'm gonna round it up a little bit more. So by now, most of my hair is dried straight. We still have the top section, but that doesn't take very long to do. And we are at seven minutes, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so what I like to do next is I like to dry the top section of my hair, and then I go in with the brush one last time throughout the whole hair, and I just give it a nice, rounded, blowout look. Let's do it.
Okay, so we are at nine minutes and 47 seconds and my hair is pretty much all dry. I just have a little bit of finishing up to do and I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but when I blow dry my hair upside down, I got so much more volume at the top. So whenever you're blow drying your hair, always either flip your hair upside down or flip your brush upside down gonna help a lot i still have a little bit of work to do so i have about one or two minutes of just fixing it up and making it nice and then we're done Okay, and this is the final result. I think it's just amazing. And it took 12 minutes and 48 seconds to do. Given my hair, given how frizzy and dry it is, the fact that it can go to this in 12 minutes is just insane. I'm obviously not a professional hairstylist, but the fact that I can do this myself with a brush that I bought for $60, it's amazing. I think I said amazing 10 times in this video, but it's amazing. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, maybe the people with more wavy and curly hair can, but I hate washing my hair because it takes so much styling and just heat usage to get it to be the way I want it to be. This brush just cuts down so many steps for me, so I would highly, highly recommend you guys get it if you're debating on it. So that concludes today's video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and let me know what else you'd like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.